We're here at Paint the View with Robert Sawada, and you are extraordinary. Tell us about why are you here, and how did you get so much accomplished in a matter of hours? Uh, well, basically, I'm here uh, because I seen you guys on the internet and decided to come participate in your um, the art show that you do have going on here. Um, actually, I'm just really going all over the place, just doing art for the next 30 days here today. I'll be in Virginia soon, and I'll be back up in New York. Uh, sometimes I'll just basically pull over and uh, ask somebody for directions. If they give me directions, I'll offer them a painting and show them how to paint. That's basically how I'm getting through these next 30 days. Well, that is totally awesome. That's so cool. I mean, really, kind of like totally furry. But right. you're also a different type of artist because you don't use a paintbrush as far as like your traditional style. Tell us about what exactly... Uh, spray paint artist is oh okay well it's uh trying to master something that has no control whatsoever um it uses anything from paper to plates to uh just miscellaneous stuff there's no real tools um we just kind of use uh what we have available and just uh crinkle paper and plastics and uh that's how it works you really can't control what it's going to make you can only kind of guide it, but it, it's going to make what it makes, and you just learn with it. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, not very long. It's I, I do something new every year. Um, I kind of do everything. I do everything from sculptures to paintings to silk screens. Uh, always like to learn something new. You know, I'm just an all-round crazy person I guess we love it we love it but I love the way you actually have your own mobile you know studio here you have it set up in an area away from everybody else tell us about why why do you take such a private spot um well a lot of people are kind of my art smells <laughs> so uh the, the overspray and stuff like that so I just try to be a little considerate and um I'm an expression artist so I really don't have to sit there and stare at something I can get a look at it see what I feel and then let it make what it makes that is what's so unusual and awesome is because let's see some of the work that you've done today. Can you tell us about what was it that inspired you to make these that look so different than what we would think of Paint the View? But at the end of the day, that's what it's all about is the creativity of the artist. Right. Well, definitely as the end of the day comes, then I can actually do some more deeper, darker space things that um, show more of the view in my eye. <laughs> They're all beautiful. We'll show you a little B-roll in a second about it. But um, so tell us again, like now when I was asking you about how you felt about coming out and how, you know, we have these things for the authors or artists, excuse me, that we would love to be able to present. And you said, I'm not here for you. I'm here for the people that you're giving the charity to. Right. Tell us about how you feel about that. That was very deep. Uh, and I want to hear more. Mm, it's basically, I'm just saying kind of like, um, uh, God, I really don't want anything from it at all. I'm just doing what I enjoy to do, and uh, if it brings somebody else some kind of happiness about it, um, that's basically it. It's not about me. I'm I'm not here for me, and uh, I don't really make art for me. I just make it, and uh, people like it. I'm, that makes me enough happy. It's not the money. The money is definitely the farthest thing from everything. How could anyone say it better? And, you know, you were kind of like the the picture poster child of what we want paint the view and those who are participating to be like thank you so much sure. for all you did today sure thank you